Alrighty, welcome to part three. We're going to be talking about combat here. Um, so, in this case here, combat is pretty simple, uh, pretty easy, easy going, and and uh, and in it. Oh, thank you so much. And uh, in it, um, both Belmont and the and the monster get one round of combat per their turn. Now, thankfully for the one who controls Count Dracula's minion, each monster gets their gets their own turn. So, so, so uh, you get a bunch of a, a bunch of turns. And so, um, so with that being said, the the only exception to this rule here is is if Belmont, and again, kind of in the last video, I was talking about. Let's say he has multiple turns here. The only exception to the rule here is Belmont fights a monster and is able to kill it in a single turn, or or is able to finish off is able to finish off the monster then he can keep on going and you can then battle another monster so he's like the only reason Belmont would have to stop is if he doesn't kill the monster if he kills the monster and still has movement left over then he can keep on fighting again movement is important it shows you how many or how many options you you have to keep fighting how many um turns you have being able to dodge traps being able to dodge monster special moves so belmont in this case is level one so it means he gets one one attack die and one defense die the enemy he's fighting is a mud deuce ahead and and how this works here hopefully you can see this is four hit points that's why i only have four four pegs here and uh, attack has one has one fireball which means that uh, it only gets one, only gets one, um, here, you can use this one. It, it only means it gets one attack die. It's d defense that it has, it means it only gets one, because there's only one icon. Okay, this one is dead. Anyways, and then it says it can move three, so it can move up to three, three of the spaces here, and it drops, you can see it drops the bag of money one, 100 in the fireball. nice so it means it drops 100 gold if it is slain now kind of a, a comparison here we look at death death has four fireball icons when he gets four die he gets he has four of these armored knights from uh, I, I believe they're from castlevania adventure and belmont's revenge okay. but these in my game are the um what is used for a shield for a bad guy so it gets four of those so if you if 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 Belmont were to fight Death now, he would get one of each die while Death I gets well Death gets four of each of, of each die here. I so it kinda shows that. you a little bit here that's how much stronger um mm. he is. And so this is a board game. Castlevania itself is a game that is is an action game that stuff happens, you have to do movement or you have to do reactions you got to do certain things well we can't do that in a board game setting so the closest we can get here okay is that the closest we can get here is that uh okay you got those guy is that um both the monster and belmont roll their dice at once and this is where having different colored dice would be a lot more handy but i don't have that so let's go ahead and just kind of play out an example and explain how this could work so we go ahead and we roll it here so there's different icons for different die and and each person has a different a, a different option here so this is the belmont uh, uh attack die this is a hit so belmont got a hit on the monster this is a sub a sub weapon so belmont has a sub weapon he can choose to use it assuming he has enough hearts if he doesn't have enough hearts he doesn't have a sub weapon or he doesn't wish to choose a sub weapon then it's counted as a basic hit and this is a miss if you were to get a miss it's just exactly as it sounds oh thank you so much it's a automatic miss nothing further happens that's the end you lose a good day sir but since he got a hit it means he has the potential of doing damage now the thing is is let's go ahead and let's deal with the monsters die is that the monster if they roll a fireball here uh, that means that that's their equivalent of a hit 
and and they can potentially hit Belmont. Oh, guy, I'm gonna hold this one, please. This one where it's Belmont jumping over the Cyclops hammer. Oh, thank you. That is their equivalent of a miss. If they roll this, then they automatically miss. Nothing further happens. And the last one is this little tornado thing with Belmont flying away. That's their special move. So Belmont sub Belmont sub weapons, and, uh, and, and we'll get to this uh, if we roll it. But Belmont sub weapons require hearts, but they can't miss. They're always going to do damage. And sub and sub weapons uh, will use um, will use more D and D dice form. And so for instance the holy water will use one D six, like the knives or daggers we want to say will do a D four. So you know it depends on what you have, but they're gonna do a whole bunch of damage and they can't miss. The only exception to that is you have to have enough hearts for them. They run on hearts. Well the enemies special moves here um, they have less of a chance of getting it. So, for instance, on um, Belmont, he has two chances of a miss, two chances of a hit, and two chances of a sub weapon. And a sub a sub weapon also counts as a hit if you don't have enough hearts, don't want to use it, etc. While these guys, they only have one chance of getting their special move, but their special move doesn't cost any magic or hearts or anything. They can use it at any point. So that's the exception to it now unfortunately these guys rolled this one here so they miss now even though belmont got a hit here he might not be able to land any damage well Daddy, you want to push okay nice anyways and so for the defense icons this one is for the monster it's showing that Belmont here, oh, that focus is, come on, focus, focus, focus. Oh. Anyways, it's showing, yeah, it's not really focusing all the way. Anyways, it shows that Belmont here is whipping this monster, which in this case means that the monster was able to, or sorry, was not able to block. If the monster were to get this, 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 this knight in this armor, it means he would have been able to block Belmont's hit. So, Belmont here. Belmont here was able to whip. The monster was not able to defend against Belmont. Belmont does one point of damage to this monster. Each basic whip attack and basic monster attack does one point. And so he was able to do one point. Monster is down to three. Now because the monster missed, this doesn't go anywhere. Let's say that the monster didn't miss here and got this fireball. This one where it's a little bolt of... Uh, lightning energy whatever you want to say is a miss for belmont and the shield is a b b block for for belmont i'm just i'm just making sure i'm trying to get every single thing so bear with me here so anyways but unfortunately um this guy missed and so nothing happened well belmont was not able to kill the monster in the single turn so his turn ends here Again, even even if he if if he had a bunch more options, bunch more uh, of his movement, he only gets one attack, unless unless he kills the monster. If he kills the monster, he can keep on fighting. It's only once he can't kill it then then his turn ends, or he doesn't have enough movement. I I know I've said this a billion times, but I'm just saying it over and over again. So now it's technically the monster's turn. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna roll these again here. We will get some other options. Ooh, perfect. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so this is an is an interesting uh, turn of events. So, yeah, yeah, handsome. So first things first. So the monster got a miss. Nothing's going on with the miss. Well, Belmont got a sub weapon. Throwing that little knife is is a sub weapon. So Belmont can use his sub his sub weapon here. And his sub weapon in this case is the holy water damage. So, so uh, first things first. How this works is, is it takes it takes three hearts. Now you have to use your hearts first. So you go ahead and we and we use three hearts. I'm just counting these out now. And you can roll one d6, and that's how much damage that the holy water does. So I'm just gonna roll this here, 
and does three points of damage. On top of that, the holy water has a, di a, a additional move. It says, no, in addition... Okay, guys. In addition, the monster will lose a defense die max one for that current round of combat. So, in that case here, e even though it didn't, it didn't matter. Let's say that Belmont was fighting. Oh, okay, guy. We'll hear in just, a, just a second. Yes. So let's say that that let's say that Belmont here is fighting a monster who had more defense. Since he rolled on the holy water. The one controlling the monster gets to pick whichever de de defense die that they got. I mean, it's totally up to up to their choice when they take it out. So that's what Holy Water does. You lose one defense die, but it's up to the one who controls Dracula and his minions. It's up to their their choice of which one is lost with it. And so, so with that being said, since he got three, he's actually able to kill off the rest the rest of of the monster there and then uh maybe in a future time i might have cards that have money uses but in this time you just have to have a separate sheet of paper and just write 100 gold on it or 100 gp you know anything that you would like to add so this monster is dead because belmont got a sub a sub weapon and belmont gets 100 gold and uh, yeah, and that's the end of of that monster. Belmont can keep on can keep on uh, going here. So I'm just trying to put things back. Um, Belmont can keep on going here, keep on fighting. Uh, if there were more than one monster on the one more than one monster on the field, um, he could um, he could uh, or sorry, then the other monsters could keep on fighting. Um, or you know anything else but in this case oh a nice guy but in this case there's only just the one monster now i hope that made sense uh i'm gonna kind of fudge a couple of things here so let's say that i'm gonna roll, just grab one of these guys at random hopefully it's not another mud mud another medusa head so we got a bat so let's say that belmont's fighting this bat now let's say that this bat got the 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 fancy uh, uh, sp uh, echelon move here. Well, there's two phases of combat. In phase in phase one, you would do just exactly what I was just explaining to you. You would go ahead and you do all of your basic whip and fireball damage that deal one point only. In phase two, that's when you start calculating how much your sub your sub weapon did, and then whether or not that the monster's special attack hit. So let's go ahead and look at, at this bat here. So bat has that uh, focuses in has bite. <clears throat> uh, the bat tries to bite Belmont on a hit. Belmont is dealt one damage, and then dodge. It has a little icon to avoid the bite. Well, this is the same is the same thing as all, all the other trying to dodge items. So Belmont, if Belmont is hit by this bite, he has to try to roll to dodge it. Unfortunately, in this case. He was not able to because that's considered a miss. So he would be dealt one point of just automatic damage. Um, now, if he would have got a success on it, then he was able to defend against that bite. Going back to the death card. <laughs> going back to the death card. Death summons a bunch of sickles, so three sickles. And so Bell would have to roll three successful uh of those dodge dice in order to avoid three of them two to avoid two of them one to avoid one of them and so that's why you got to have your movement so you can try to dodge the monster special moves um and so you know in this case just one just uh just one thing of uh of health is not it's not the end of the world but it is what it is I know this is going a bit, but let's keep on, on talking here. So let's say that Belmont was super low on health. Let's let's say that all of these, I'm not going to take them off, but let's say all these were gone. And Belmont says, oh crap, I'm getting hurt. I want to use my Belmont bag item. Well, he can. But the difference is if using the Belmont bag item, and Belmont has to use it on Belmont's turn. And using the Belmont bag item means you don't get to roll your attack die, but you still get to roll your defense die. So if Belmont used one of his items... 
his attack die is gone, he can still roll his defense die and try to defend against a monster. Thankfully, that monster uh, missed anyways, but he can still defend. So again, you can use items inside of combat and outside of combat, but if you use them inside of combat, you you can't you can't roll your attack for that turn that you used it on. So the very last two things here that I think I can think of, and then I'll go over a couple of maybe questions that might show up. Um, let's say that our friend Belmont here is fighting someone, and he's getting his uh, he's getting his butt kicked. Belmont can retreat. So again, it takes movement die. A level one to two monster requires one successful movement die icon to retreat from levels three th uh levels three to four monsters take two so let's say he was fighting this this uh, bat here and so he's getting his uh butt kicked even though his bat is super weak but that's totally fine so belmont tries to move this he gets one of them and then belmont can move to the nearest open spot that he can see it has to be an open spot that he can see he can't just choose a new a new spot if there's a monster there then he has to fight it and because he is retreating for a monster even if there's no monster here then he has to or, or uh, sorry he doesn't get to roll the encounter die now let's say that again we're going to go back here and my uh and i uh, know that my table is getting a little messy here let's say the moment has three levels of movement he was able to retreat from the fight He's safely here. That counts as one, one turn of movement. He has two more turns left of movement. Two more turns left of movement. He could, if he wanted to, he could use one of his of his of his of his items. Thanks, thanks, guy. Anyway, so let's say, yeah, if he does that, he can do he can heal up with one of his of his items. He can keep on going further, or he could again he can move, and uh, he could heal up and he can go back into the fight if belmont were to fail the first time um and doesn't get the successful retreat trying to fight the monster the monster does an automatic three points of damage regardless of the monster regardless of belmont's armor it automatically just does three points of damage and so and, le and, le and let's say that he does have his three there and he fails the first one well then he has two other chances let's say he fails the second one then he has one other chance so as long as you have Daddy, options here you can keep on doing it as long as you have movement to do it and then um and then the thing that should be mentioned here is you can't attack and then retreat as belmont you 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 can retreat and then go back in for the and go back in for the attack afterwards, but you can't. Oh, all right, guy. I'm almost, almost, almost there. <clears throat> okay, okay. No, I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna sit down. So that's how Belmont has to retreat. Now, if you're a monster, it's it's exact opposite. As a monster, you can battle Belmont and you can then retreat afterwards. And the way a monster has to retreat is that, for instance, this guy has 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 two on his movement belmont has to roll the movement die or dodging die whatever you want to call him and if he gets equal or higher to the amount of movement that this guy has belmont is able to stop the monster and he does or and he does three automatic damage to the monster if belmont is not able to successfully which which in this case here belmont is only on level one and doesn't have enough uh to get higher than just one and this guy has two movement then the monster is able to su successfully retreat and move the mouse base is equal to its movement which in this case is two which then allows for another monster if there's one on the field to go ahead and uh attack um and go ahead and attack uh B B elmont and so monsters can essentially attack retreat and they can gang up on belmont um the other thing I should mention here is that once, um, <coughs> excuse me, once once level two is found, and I'll ex explain that here in just a bit. Oh, thank you so much. Once once level two is found, uh, when a monster uh, 
icon is is rolled here then two monsters start showing up one shows up on the square that belmont oops, one shows up on the square that belmont's currently at and then the other one shows up at the start of the current level so if belmont was here and he summoned a monster a monster would not only show up on this tile but it would start showing up at the opening uh, of the castle too so that's only once level two has been entered into i know there is a bunch of stuff that just being said this is a 20 minute long video oh guy so why don't you get it for me so quick so quick uh just uh things here that maybe someone asked maybe some people aren't uh, I just want to make sure that I can help you guys out. Uh, so, what if so so what if one side has three uh, three attack die and the other side only has one defense die? And the, hey, give me a second. And and the guy that has and the guy that has three uh, three of the uh, attack die gets gets all three hits in. So uh, hopefully with 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 me trying to explain that and, and my son asking me to sit ask me to sit down so again what it means is let's say belmont has level three on attack and the monsters finally has level one on def defense and belmont gets three successful hits in how does that work well for the defense that the monster has it can try to block one of the attacks but then the other two are automatic hits for belmont or let's say that the monster has three attacks and belmont only has one de defense for it so just just because one side has more attack and then the other person who has lesser defense doesn't mean anything those are just auto those are just automatic hits because they don't have enough to defend themselves with no. now let's uh, now let's look at the opposite side here let's say you have more defense than you do uh, attack nothing additional happens it just means you have a higher chance of being able to block against monsters or or the uh or the, the, okay. the enemy the other question is is do i get to choose what blocks what the answer is yes so a Belmont sub a Belmont sub weapon cannot miss. So don't waste one of your of your successful blocks on a move that you know is going to or sorry, on a move that you know cannot be blocked against. So yes, you can choose what blocks what. Um uh, and then so what happens if, if the monster and Belmont kill each other at, uh, on the same turn? I mean, it is a chance that they could. If that's the case, you re-roll combat and you try uh, again. There can be only one. Hopefully, that makes sense. Hopefully, that uh, is is clear enough for you. There's a lot of situations here that could happen based off of what's in your bag. Certain things could happen based off of what your sub weapon is, what your hearts are, what you get on the die. Things can happen. The whole idea of it is is the higher that you get the higher chances you have to the higher chances you have to hit defend dodge etc etc that's how the attacking works in this game and uh, i hope that makes sense and i'll see you on the next one